There's something that I think believe everybody should know in terms of what is happening in terms of the housing crisis and what we know as gentrification. In 2008, private equity firms came together and saw an opportunity. We know that in 2008 that there was a crash that happened as a result of predatory lending. The people who are part of the predatory lending moved positions and they began to set up private equity firms. Private equity firms are simply uh, investment partnerships. You can't just, you gotta have a whole lot of money to be able to invest in some of the private equity firms. But what they have found is an easy way to make quick money. And what they have done is by buying and selling companies. One company that was bought by a private equity firm is Red Lobster. A lot of black folk like to go to Red Lobster. Amen. Um, and what they did is they sold off parts of the company and they realized that Red Lobster made a lot of money uh, and what was valuable was the land that Red Lobster sat on. So what they did is they created two different companies and they took the land that Red Lobster sat on and then they leased the land back to the restaurant. As a result, they had to uh, lay off quite a few people. But this is at the same time uh, Red Lobster was offering bottomless shrimp. Now, they blamed bottomless shrimp, but in reality, Red Lobster had been sold to private equity and the company had been sold off, to give you an example of how private equity works. What private equity realized, starting in 2008, that there was a way in order to make money quickly, and that was through the housing market. The private equity then decided to go into uh, communities, working class communities, distressed communities, and buy large numbers of homes. They would then uh, raise the prices of those homes in order to force people out of the neighborhood. They'd raise the prices, they'd raise the rent to the point where people could not afford to live in certain spaces, would then take over those spaces, and then all of a sudden it is regentrified very quickly. The reason it is very difficult for younger people to purchase a home and homes become so expensive is because we have a large portion of the housing uh, stock in America is owned by private equity. And they are not concerned about communities being built. They are specifically concerned about making money a quick buck. So here are the places in which private equity are always looking. They're looking to buy homes uh, in places that are near lakes, rivers, or oceans. They're looking where downtown, near a train station, parks, or recreation centers. They're looking for buildings uh, that need uh, updating, but they want to push out the people who are there so they can bring the certain people that they want to bring in to make more money. This is an important issue when you hear the word private equity. When we speak about private equity, we're not talking about many people in our community, but we're talking about people who come into our community. As we have been doing work here in uh, the 95th Street Corridor, when we started flipping some homes, we started to find out that there were companies that saw what we were doing and started buying up the homes in the neighborhood. And it became very difficult for us to even flip these homes so we can make them affordable for people in the community. Their idea is that they would hold on to these homes that are dilapidated until that there is full gentrification and then uh, they will then renovate them, raise the prices, have pushed everyone out and the neighborhood will be completely different. These are the things that we are facing and these are some of the simple things that we need to learn about. Private equity is just one issue as we approach the election that we need to understand and raise the question when you talk about your vote, who will be the person who will support community development, who is the person that does not support community development? In the words of Sean Connery from The Untouchables, there endeth the lesson. Amen, amen. May God bless you. There's your lesson on private equity.